You're watching UNICEF television. How do you improve life for people living in Karamoja, the poorest region of Uganda? That was the question facing about 60 lawmakers, young people, development partners, civil society members, and other leaders who recently gathered for three days in Munyonyo, Uganda. Called Creating a Shared Vision for Karamoja, the UNICEF-sponsored meeting followed guidelines laid out in Future Search, which uses a paradigm that brings people together to tell stories about their past, present, and desired future. Through dialogue, they discover common ground. Then, and only then, do they make concrete action plans. Shall we be passengers or shall we be drivers? Shall we drive the vehicle of progress of Karamoja? Or shall we just sit and allow others to drive it for us? A major focus of the discussions dealt with young people and the challenges they face. What will be done to help the youth of Karamoja? Because there are so many problems that are facing the youth. I expect some idea that I'll get from here. I'll go and tell it to my fellow youth. And if they take it from uh, us, the youth who are here, it will help them uh, to make Karamoja a better place. Participants created timelines of key events in the world, their own lives, and in the history of Karamoja. After completing the timelines, the entire group focused on the present. They created a mind map to identify the trends they consider most important. Day two brought a special guest, the First Lady of Uganda, Janet Museveni, who also holds the title of Minister of State for Karamoja Affairs. Before she spoke, a young woman from Karamoja sang from the heart about the importance of educating girls. I know deep inside her, she believes she can make it and be what she wants to be. Then the First Lady quickly identified what she sees as the historical challenges facing Karamoja. The history of Karamoja since the birth of the nation of Uganda has been littered with misunderstanding, with neglect, with exploitation, with violence and conflict, which has resulted in what we see today. Besides the challenges, she highlighted her hopes for Karamoja. Water is central if any progress is to be made in Karamoja. In the coming months, we hope to make water a reality in Karamoja with valley tanks to alleviate the problem of shortage of water for animals and for human beings. In the end, the Future Search Conference was characterized as a first step in a long journey. We go out of here with uh, one vision statements to take Karamoja to 220. That vision includes the pen and what it represents, education. In past ceremonies more than 50 years ago, the Karmajan culture famously buried the pen and resisted educating their children, which they saw as a colonial threat to their culture. But here, an elder stepped forward and resurrected the pen, and with it, hopes for educating their children. The final session was not marked by a grand speech, but rather by identifying common ground and getting individual commitments to make the dream of a better Karamoja a reality. This is Thomas Nidal reporting for UNICEF Television in Munyonyo, Uganda. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.